Let's see how we can represent root 3 on number line. For this we will take help of Pythagoras theorem which is saying that in a right angle triangle square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of square of other two sides. So we can say if we are having one right angle triangle in which one side is root 2 and another side is 1 then its hypotenuse is equal to root 3. Let's see. Let's say we are having a triangle ABC where A B is root 2 B C is 1 then we can find out AC which will be root 3 in this case using Pythagoras theorem we can say here we can say AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square which is equal to root 2 square plus 1 square 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so AC is equal to root 3 we learned that if we are having one triangle in which one side is root 2 other side is 1 and it is a right angle triangle then its hypotenuse is equal to root 3 we can also get root 2 from a triangle in which two sides are unit 1 then hypotenuse is root 2 for example let's say we are having one triangle ABC in which A B is 1 B C is also 1 then A C will be root 2 so we can find out root 2 and if we are having root 2 then we can easily find out point representing root 3 on number, number line let's say how we can do this we are having one number line let's say this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 first of all we will find out root 2 on this number line we will make one triangle on number line this triangle is having two sides as unit 1 then its hypotenuse will be root 2 from this hypotenuse we can find out another point on the number line which is equal to root 2 this point will be root 2 now we are having root 2 then we can easily find out root 3 with another triangle which is having one side as root 2 another side as 1 then hypotenuse will be root 3 we can draw another triangle here this length is root 2 and height is 1 unit then we can get hypotenuse and if we draw same, same length on the number line then it will be root 3 this point is root 3 on number line so this way we can find out root 3 on number line 